to you from the good old uh, Hobart Live station. I want to thank everybody for checking in. Um, before we get started with everything, um, I would uh, appreciate if you'd hit the like and the share button. Um, uh, so before we get into our first story, um, I was a little pissed off earlier and I cooled down a little bit, but like I said, I appreciate everybody's support before I get into this, before I start yelling about somebody 99% of the messages I get are amazing I love you guys but I go through every message I see mostly everything and I get the typical crap you're a liberal you're a Democrat you love Trump whatever and you know you love Biden whatever and I, I kind of just let it go but somebody messaged me today and said why are you posting about this serial killer in Philly it's so ridiculous that you think you know what's going on and none of these other major outlets are reporting it and you're saying there's a serial killer in Philly and you have no credentials. These are probably the people that are reporting me to Facebook or whatever. Let me just tell you something. Let me just let me just tell you something for a minute. First of all, I'm not saying confirmed serial killer is going whatever. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there's a possible serial killer. Then he went to the point and said that I'm just doing it for clout and followers or whatever the hell it is. Let me just tell you something. I don't get what you're watching right now. The people that are watching right now, which, like I said, are people that really want news, right? When I go do a live video, there's some people that'll be interested in the follow, and then they'll just kind of be passive followers of whole bunch news. I don't get followers from these types of videos at all, at all. I do these are videos because I really truly feel like people need to know what's going on. Because if you go on other news outlets, it's like, Joe Biden's stupid, Donald Trump's stupid, and there's there's more going on, right? So, again, sorry to be fired up. But to just precipice on top of that, here's messages that I've received about this Philadelphia serial killer that so is so, you know, it's so not possible that this could be happening, right? July 21st. There's been at least six women showing up dead wrapped in saran wrap in Philly, and the news is pretty much just blowing it off. Please, Anthony, could you help get this out? I'm in Philly, and people need to know what's going on. This is not being reported at all. You're one of the only news sources that reports what is really happening. My friends think I'm crazy. So, and I exchanged messages with this girl, and she sent me three different articles, which I'm going to show. Then, I get another, I, I would say I had a probably close to... Two dozen messages of, all, honestly, t 23 of them were probably women asking me to cover this because they're not seeing it anywhere. Can you talk about the Philly serial killer more? No one in Philly is paying attention. There are women being dismembered all over the city and none of the news stations or outlets are talking about it. Another message. I have heard of more than a dozen women dismembered in Philly uh, and no one is... And, why is no one talking about this? Could you please share something about what is going on? I live down here and I am scared to walk the streets at night. So I'm supposed to get these messages and 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 not and just let it go because it's not being reported. So let's let's look at it right now. Woman found dead in trunk car at Philly Towing Company. This was two days ago. Two days ago this happened. Body found in garbage bag in Philadelphia, maybe missing woman. This was June 24th, July 15th, woman's body found in plastic container in Philadelphia Gray's Ferry section. Okay, now I had other people, sorry, I was getting everything like set up for this and I, I didn't get, but I, I think I've had about three or four other articles. I know of a lady that was in a suitcase, I saw a one that, and I also have seen someone saran wraps in boxes. I have seen articles with that. So, on top of that, there was an arrest made in Chester County last night 
of the woman that was found in the suitcase. Now, is this are, are all these murders related? I have no idea. But if you're telling me that there's 8 to 10 to 12, we don't even know how many murders. We don't even know how many murders are, are confirmed. I'm getting messages saying that they're not being reported, that they're being reported, anything like that. So there was an arrest last night for one of them. So could this be the serial killer, this guy right here? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe none of them are connected. I don't know. But do you think that it's not our duty to at least, I feel some civic duty at this point having followers and everybody that supports me. Why am I not going to tell people about this? I'm not saying that there's a confirmed serial killer. Look out. It's Saw 7, bro. Like, look out. I'm just trying to tell people to be aware. If you want to go look about COVID and Joe Biden and Donald Trump, like, you can get your dose of that anywhere else. I'm just, I feel like this is something that people should be talking about or at least telling your friends, hey, man, this is going on in Philly. So maybe, you know, like, I, I, I don't know. So... Like I said, I apologize for getting fired up. Like I said, most people that, but there's just, sometimes people just turn that screw in just a little bit. And it's just, I don't get followers from making these videos. As you can see, we got 121 people in here. That's awesome. But I did the rally yesterday and there's 300 people talk to me. People don't want to see me talk. But if I feel like something's going on, I mean, I, I'm going to say something. So please, if you can, like and share this video so people that don't know what's going on will see the headline and maybe they'll take a listen and maybe they'll pay attention a little bit more to things that are more important. Like people getting cut up on the streets of Philly, but we're worried about Joe Biden. And I, I, I'm not saying I'm, I'm a part of that machine. I share everything. So I'm a part of that machine, but I'm not going to do a video and sit here and talk about how Trump talks or Biden talks and how they suck and whatever. So like I said, Aaron Mosher of Brownwells, New Jersey, was arrested on July 20th, uh, abuse of a corpse, a bunch of terrible stuff. So I don't know if he's tied into everything, but like I said, please like, share, let people know what's going on. These are the other three articles, and now we'll just move on to the regular rest of the news. All right, so the judge blocks U.S. agents from arresting the uh, protesters in Portland. Portland is a war zone. I am going to share videos from last night. There were some live feeds that are just... It's an absolute war zone there. However you feel about the situation or whatever's going on, I'm just letting you know Portland is a war zone. It is, it's, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. They're, uh, they're having all these crazy techniques, how they're uh, using umbrellas and like leaf blowers to like shoot the tear gas back at the police. And I mean, it's, it's, it's just chaos there right now. It really is chaos. Um, also, um, a little bit of breaking news earlier. This is all, all the stuff, uh, NBC Philly, uh, one article was from Penn Live and ABC six, just to credit all the stuff that, uh, but a woman died after being shot in the back of the head of a, a crashing car. Just, uh, this was about an hour ago in Philly, Northeastern Philadelphia, 4,700 block of Shellmeyer Avenue near Torresdale Avenue. Um, yeah, about 4 AM this morning, I would say it's being reported. Entering Friday, there are at least 233 homicides in Philadelphia, up 30% from last year. So there you go. So there's just another thing that we should be just be aware of. It's all just be aware of. All right. Tony Luke's founder and son dodged taxes for a decade. My good cheesesteaks. So this is NBC Philly. This is going all over. Apparently, Tony Luke's butter doing some down and dirty stuff. But look at that, bud. There's some cheesesteaks making on the screen. Not good, bud. Not good. My good Tony Luke's owner, he's not doing so well right now. I don't know what happened. It looks like they're evading some taxes or something, but you can uh, can read more about that if you like. Also, uh, South Williamsport Dunkin' Donuts, jam-packed for donuts today, bud. If you were worried about donuts, you ain't getting none, bud. Well, it's South Williamsport. All right. Uh, another funny thing, CBS Sacramento, a uh, headline that you probably see every day. Woman urinates on floor after refusing to leave Verizon's store for not wearing mask. I can't imagine the person that was writing that story. What's going on, man? All right, sorry, we have broadcast interrupted. That sorry, we got broadcast interrupted again. I'll report. Uh, I will uh, do that again. Woman urinates on floor after refusing refusing to leave Verizon store for not wearing mask. Don't see that one every day. That's in CBS Sacramento if you want to uh, read that article. Some more local stuff. We have a Jersey Shore from North Central PA. Um, we have a Jersey Shore man 
that allegedly raped a, a 16 year old um, that's on uh, North Central PA like I said we're partners with them so you could uh, check that out uh, Guy Singer Medical Center uh, has been named for the Center, Center of Excellence for hip and knee replacement buds if you need your good hip or knee bud I got that taken care of for you Bucknell released their fall semester reopening plans if you want to check that out on North Central PA on an interesting piece, uh, sorry to switch back to Nashville, like I said, I kind of haphazardly threw this together because I was like yelling at people. But um, uh, this is, Hong Kong refuses to be a, a pawn of anti-China forces. This is an uh, interesting article to read because obviously everything's filled with propaganda, whatever country you're in, whether you want to believe that or not. So this is from People's Daily, which is obviously a Chinese-run news station. So they hate the U.S. and So I like to read just to get perspective. It's interesting to read this article if you can't, if we go on to, uh, to, it's all about saying that relating the process, the people that are processed are all like Americans and have the American ideology and if you support them, you support America and we're basically going to kill you. I don't know, something like that. But it, it's it's a definitely an interesting article really. Um, in Montour County where that uh, murder was, I know people were interested, I have a few people messaged me about that. A Florida woman has been arrested in connection with that. Um, also interesting, uh, on, on, on the Pulse, uh, they're uh, a friend of ours in Williamsport. Uh, Gene Stilp attempted to burn a number of flags, Confederate flags and Trump campaign flags with a Nazi swastika on the front in the front of Lycoming County Courthouse. Police and firefighters arrived on the scene and Stilp was warned if he attempted to burn the flags that it would be in violation of the city's fire ordinance. He attempted to burn the flags anyway, saying they represented racism and fascism for the Trump campaign and his supporters. Still was issued a citation of arrest and, and the scene was released. The flags were taken by city police as evidence. A full video will be released soon. You can go to On The Pulse and uh, check out that video. Uh, some interesting stuff going on in there. You can um, Also, WikiLeaks. My good friends at WikiLeaks just uh, um, released some new information. So if you're into that, you can go to file.wikileaks.org. Check out um, new things going on at WikiLeaks. Here's our current incidents right now in Northumberland County. Nothing too crazy. If you can, give me a follow on tw uh, Twitter. Give me a, a subscribe on YouTube. We're going to immediately upload this video uh, right up there. I'm going to get to work on some more YouTube stuff for you guys. Keep subscribing so we can start live broadcasting on YouTube. Um, I want to say again, like I said, I know I got fired up about that one guy, but like I said, 99% of the messages I get are great, and I appreciate everybody. But please, this beginning of the video needs to be seen, so make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you want to chat with me directly, um, find us on Discord. Um, I'll post that. It's tough to find. The link sets resets every day. But um, I can't keep up with all the messages. But if you message me on Discord, I will see it. It goes right to my phone. I don't see Hobart News messages go to my phone. So um, Halo Space Media. Yeah, I'm going to go check out some stuff from Portland. Get that stuff shared to you guys. Um, I want everybody to have a great weekend. I would maybe do an update on Sunday or if any crazy stuff goes on in the meantime. Uh, but like I said, I just wanted to address that. Um, like I said, I'm not. I'm definitely not this one reporting that there's a serial killer in Philly, and it's confirmed. I'm just looking at what people are telling me and what little information I can get from the mainstream media, and it's kind of easy to put it together. You can put it together and understand that maybe something's going on. Either way, homicides are up, and you should be very aware. And that's something of importance of news, you know, rather than Joe Biden and and Trump. Trump going down a ramp and drinking water. I don't know, man. That's what people worry about. So, like I said, again, I appreciate every single one of you. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on YouTube. Do all that kind of good stuff. And I will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Be safe. And I'll see you, bye.